okay? Now those tanks are also pretty old, so we really can't think about reusing those. Vintage tanks aren't good. They are not good. So what we've got for you is a different style of tank. It's pretty interesting, it comes to us from Europe. The outer tank is galvanized steel, and that won't rust, but the outer tank is not what holds the oil. I've got a cutaway here. The inner tank is a polyethylene or plastic tank that will not rust and so it'll last a long time. So if this leaks, this will catch it. That's right, this is the second line of defense. Got it. Now before we can think about putting these tanks in though, we have to get the old tanks out and they are filled with oil. So for that we called an expert, Kevin Hogue is an expert at such things. Hey Kevin. Hi Richard. So how to lose Hi Kevin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So why do these tanks have to go? Well Liz, these tanks are made of steel and they're at least I'd say these tanks are 40 years old. So what's the life expectancy of these tanks? Well, generally, the life expectancy is 20, 25 years on a steel tank. But there, with, what happens is the vent, uh, the vent alarm, the vent allows condensation to get in through the tank, okay. into the tank. It creates some condensation, and it corrodes from the bottom. And once so, you have air and water in there, it can rot the steel tank away. Mm -hmm. And you can't okay. see that from the outside, necessarily. Okay. So what are we going to do to get these out of here? Well, we have half a tank of oil, approximately, in the tank. And actually, Luis here is going to Take, remove the plug from the top of the tank and we'll insert a suction tube down into the tank and we'll pump the oil out into a truck that's outside. Okay, so this is your suction hose right here. It looks like it's got some pretty good pull to it. Yes, it does. Now Al's going to take this All right. and insert it to the bottom of the tank and suck all the fluids out into the truck. This is our pump truck and filtering system. Okay. And it's really interesting. This is our fuel hose right in here. The oil right now is coming through this hose from your tank. And it's running down through this pipe right here, through this pipe, beneath the truck into the pump. And from there, it's running across beneath the truck over to this, through this pipe to this filter here. This filter has a specially designed five micron filter, which is taking out the particulate from the fuel oil right now and basically cleaning it. It's then running through these pipes here up into this holding tank. This is a stainless steel holding tank. Where does it go from here? From here, once your tanks are installed, it'll be pumped back into the basement, into the ta new tanks, and it'll be clean. Oh, nice. Sounds great. All right, so all the oil is gone from the tanks, and I noticed the pipes are cut away. So what's next? Well, Richard, we're ready to stand the tank up now. So why do you do that? Well, because there's tank bottom sludge at the bottom here. Yeah. And it's basically an accumulation of particles over 40 years and some condensation and so forth. There's approximately five gallons of sludge in there, and we need to open the top with this Trump nibbler. Once this tank is cut in half, we can remove it a lot easier. It's important to use this non-sparking cutting tool so that in the event someone has put something into this tank that's flammable or explosive, we won't have a problem. That is quite a machine. This top half weighs 150 pounds alone. I can see why you'd want to get this out in at least two pieces. Now that does not look like anything that would burn. You weren't kidding about sludge. So what happens to this? This has to be disposed of separately as a hazardous waste. This is our hazardous waste vacuum. And we're about to take the tank bottom sludges out through this explosion proof pump down into the drum. Well, this is certainly not some homeowner do-it-yourself project. Oh, no. You need a licensed contractor. In fact, we had to pull a permit to do this job. And also to handle the waste, you need to be licensed and handle it responsibly. That's right. Super. So when will the new tanks come in? Your new tanks will be put in in a couple of hours. And your filtered oil will be pumped back into the tank. We'll fire them up. Well, I tell you, Kevin, i got to thank you and your crew. Great job. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Um...